Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? There are a lot of fans of the original Game Boy Advance, mostly because of its ergonomics. One bummer with that console though is that its screen isn't illuminated at all. This time, I'm going to show you how to fix that by installing a front light kit from Handheld Legend. If you're familiar at all with front lighting a Game Boy Color, it's a very similar process, so no surprises here. After you get the GBA disassembled, disconnect the logic board from the screen and set it aside. Carefully pop the LCD out from the front panel, then peel away the adhesive gasket underneath. It can be thrown away as there won't be room to put it back in later. The front panel needs to get modified a bit. The front light adds some thickness once it's installed, so these plastic guides on the bottom and side of the display cavity need to be cut down flush. I prefer to use a craft knife for this, shaving away a thin layer at a time, but of course some care needs to be taken. It's a bit messy, but just take your time. Removing those guides bought us some breathing room for the front light, but we need just a bit more. So the next step is to peel off the foam layer from the back of the LCD itself. With some luck and patience, you might be able to remove it in one piece. But in any case, you do need to be careful not to damage the thin ribbon cable that runs up the back side of the panel. The foam peeled off in chunks for me, and it probably will for you too, but no big deal. Just remove as much of it as you can. Before we get too much further into the installation, it's a good idea to test the front light panel to make sure it's working properly. I like to use a pair of AA batteries wired in series. That'll output 3 volts and it's plenty for a quick check like this. Now here's where you have a bit of a choice. Getting the best results from this mod involve adhering the front light to the LCD using a special adhesive known as LOCA. It's not strictly necessary though, so you could skip it. I don't recommend doing that though, you want to use LOCA because it makes a huge difference and really isn't that hard. It just requires the adhesive and a bit more time. Speaking of adhesive, the LOCA I'm using is known as Osaka 7. It's really high quality and one of its major features is that it's pretty thin so I find it a bit easier to apply. Before you can apply it though, a bit of prep to the front light is necessary. Peel off the protective film from the smooth side of the front light. That's the side getting glued to the LCD. You'll also need to peel off the reflective strip from the same side, but leave the strip on the textured side in place for now. Use some compressed air to clean both the front light and the LCD as best you can. Then apply some loca to the smooth side of the front light. It's best to apply it in an X-shaped pattern. This allows it to spread more evenly while minimizing the risk of bubbles. Place the LCD face down against the front light and gently move it around a bit to help the loca spread. After about a minute, carefully flip the whole thing over. You can slide the front light around a little more if you need to get the positioning correct. It should be flush with the top and sides of the LCD panel to make sure it'll fit properly back in the Game Boy. If you end up with an air bubble like I did, here's how to deal with it. By swirling around the front light a bit and applying pressure on one side, you can kind of walk the bubble in the opposite direction. Just keep at it until the bubble reaches an edge. Once it's gone, just reposition the front light where it belongs. Now, LOCA requires UV light in order to cure. All you need is to put the screen on a windowsill for about a half an hour and the sunlight, even on a cloudy day, is good enough. If you have a UV lamp, you can stick the screen assembly under it to get it to cure a bit faster. Once the LOCA is cured, carefully peel off the reflective strip from the textured front side of the front light. This is necessary because otherwise it blocks the loca underneath from curing properly. It'll stay liquid and could cause a problem called spidering. With the strip removed, that loca can cure, so leave it out in the windowsill or under the lamp for a little while longer. All right, so the loca is cured and we're ready to move on. The kit comes with a replacement reflective strip, so now's the time to install it on the front of the screen. Give the screen and the inside of the Game Boy front panel a good cleaning, then drop the screen in. Put all the buttons and membranes back in now too, then set the logic board in place and reinstall the screws to keep it from moving around. 
The black wire from the front light needs to be soldered to the side of the power switch like this. As for the red wire, where to solder it depends on which version of GBA you have. At this stage, the easiest way to tell is to look at the LCD ribbon connector. On the right side, it'll list the number of pins, either 32 or 40. If you have a 32 pin model, solder the red wire to the upper right leg of the component at position Q12. This part doesn't exist on 40 pin models, so for those, use the right leg of Q6 instead. Route the red wire like this so it won't interfere with the back housing. Then tuck all the extra wiring inside the display cavity. If you haven't already, reconnect the display ribbon cable, then simply finish reassembling the Game Boy. Drop in a couple of double A's in a game, cross your fingers, and hit the power switch. Overall, I think this mod works really well. The front light is just the right brightness, and it has nice, even illumination. Front lights in general will cause LCDs to look a little washed out, but installing it with Loka minimizes this and is definitely the way to go. The best part is that this is actually a pretty economical mod. The handheld Legend front light was designed specifically for this purpose, so installation could be kept straightforward. If you're interested in front lighting your original Game Boy Advance, this is by far the best way to do it. I owe a big shout out and thank you to Handheld Legend for hooking me up with the parts and pieces necessary to make this video happen. Links to the front light kit and Loka are down in the description if you're interested. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, that helps me out quite a bit. And follow me on Twitter at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always, thanks for watching.